What's up guys? Thank you for watching this episode of the My Living Legacy vlog. And I am here in the very room that over this past weekend, we had 24, 25 of our coordinators from all around the country come in for first a leadership training, uh, then a day later, uh, a boot camp training that lasted all weekend. And coming out of that weekend, uh, what better place than to, come, than to come right back here and just reflect on all that happened. You know, I think back to the first day as everybody started filing in and just seeing the nervousness and anxiety and uncertainty on their faces. And then really seeing them throughout the weekend just come alive. Um, embracing the discomfort of all of the activities we had going on, whether it was from, you know, standing in front of the group and reciting scripts, which there's no more difficult environment to recite a script in than in front of a bunch of people that know word for word exactly what you're supposed to be saying, to the conversations that would go on in, in roundtable discussions of, you know, our biggest failures in 2019 and how we're going to uh, improve upon those this year, which got extremely raw uh, and emotional um, because, you know, we are not just sitting here talking about business. We're talking about our relationships. We're talking about our life um, outside of work as well. And to see some people, you know, really embrace those opportunities to op open up and be transparent and what happens when that occurs is it doesn't only change them, but it changes everybody around them. Um, it gives everybody else the courage to open up and let people in. And when you get a group of people that are all doing that over the course of one weekend, uh, you know, magical things can happen. And I saw so many people go from being completely terrified to insanely confident just in a matter of days. Um, people that came in and quite frankly were concerned about their financial future as they're starting this new business, concerned with the uncertainty of embarking on a new journey with a new company and a new business venture and leave with this feeling of belief, not only in the product, not only in the system, but really the belief that they're gaining here is in the people, the leadership, the culture. It's one thing to hear about it. It's one thing to you know, watch a webinar and to see people talk about it, but it's a completely different thing to be here and to be amongst the leaders of this organization and to get to know them on a personal level and to be able to understand and know their heart you know, because yes, we sell life insurance, that's the industry that we're in, but we really look at ourselves as a personal, personal development company disguised as a life insurance agency. I personally could care less about life insurance. I think it's important. Um, I think everybody should have it. But really, life insurance is just the vehicle. It's a vehicle. And it's our vehicle to help somebody get to where they ultimately want to go. And that is becoming the best version of themselves. And I watched, you know, in this room, different people go through that process because everybody is different. Everybody's background is different. Everybody's, you know, pain and discomfort and struggles are different. But when we talk about loyalty amongst our company, we don't talk about personal loyalty. When these guys walked in here, we didn't say, hey, you gotta be loyal to us, you gotta be loyal to this company. But we talked about our mission. We talked about the vision that we have as a company and we talked about the values that we hold near. And as long as that new coordinator is loyal to that mission, is loyal to the vision is loyal to those values then we're in essence walking in parallel together and are loyal to one another but what happens is over years of doing that and, and sometimes it may happen in months but usually years of walking down that same road together you build a real personal relationship you build trust in that person and then that loyalty is created but in this boot camp training over the weekend i saw the process start. 
I saw the belief being formed. I could see people's light bulb turning on as they really started to embrace the different aspects of our system and completely understand why do I have to make that many phone calls? Why do I say it this way versus that way? As they're able to hear from leaders in our business that have been doing it for years successfully. But the biggest thing was just seeing their belief molded and and really solidified. You know, it's a very interesting stage in the business when someone comes to a boot camp training. They've been out in the field, they've had a little bit of success, but they've also you know, gotten their teeth knocked in a few times and, and have been rattled. And when they come to this boot camp training, they're really looking for that confirmation that they've made the right decision, confirmation that they're involved with the right company. Uh, confirmation that you know they're in the battle with the right people and I feel like every single person left with that they left knowing that this just this isn't just some job this isn't just some career that they're gonna do for a few years that really this is a tribe and a family and a group of people that are connected in many different ways but are most connected in our joint desire to become better. And I can see that in every single person. And so I'm extremely excited for those people that are here um, to see what happens over the next few months. I mean, I, I look back five, just five, five and a half years ago to my first boot camp training that I came to. And knowing what happened over the next few years of my life, and hoping, wishing, praying for that very same thing, if not better and, and, and bigger for the people that were here. Um, ultimately, that's what we're here and that's, that's what we're here to do and that's what we're all about, is helping people get to wherever they wanna go and figuring out what that is and giving them a plan and a system in order to get there. And ultimately helping them become the best version of themselves but man in this very room uh, you know the old uh, saying if these walls could talk um, there was a lot a lot accomplished in here this week and or this weekend and very little of it had to do with the number of life insurance policies someone sells but much of it had to do with the quality of the character of the people that were here and the quality of the questions that we were asking one another and the quality of the goals that we put in place both personally and professionally. If, as I'm describing this weekend, if that sounds like something that is not only very foreign to you but is exciting to you and maybe something that you've been looking for, um, we do have a number of different territories that are still available throughout the country. Uh, so I highly encourage you, we'll put the link in the comments and my Instagram stories, all that good stuff. Uh, but it's consolidatedassurance.com uh, forward slash careers and you can check that out and see if there's a territory open near you. Many of our, our coordinators now are having to move to their territory because we've only got a few left. Uh, but that opportunity is certainly available to you. Uh, for you to go through that recruiting process and see if you're the right fit. It is as much us trying to figure out if you're the right fit as you trying to figure out if we're the right fit. Uh, but man, I would love nothing more than to be able to lock arms with you uh, and embark on this journey together. Again, as a personal development company disguised as an insurance agency, helping you become the best version of yourself. So with that, guys, this is uh, this week's episode of My Living Legacy. Uh, as always, make sure you like it throw a comment in there and share this with somebody that you think may need to hear it.